ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿರಾಮ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಲರ್ನರ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಶ್ರೀ ಸತ್ಯ ಸಾಯಿ ಲೋಕ ಸೇವಾ ಗುರುಕುಲಂ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಶಾಲ್ ಬಿ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ವಿ ಲರ್ನ್ how to plot rational numbers on a number line today we are going to take up how many rational numbers lie in between given two rational numbers before proceeding to rational numbers let us take example of natural numbers if i ask you how many natural numbers lie between 1 and 5 all of you would quickly tell me 2 3 and 4 these are the three natural numbers which lie between 1 and 5 moving on to integers if i ask you how many integers lie between minus 3 and 3 recall your number line 0 is in the center this side we will be having 1 and 2 on the left hand side we would be having minus 1 and minus 2 so how many integers lie between minus 3 and 3 there are 5 integers which lie between minus 3 and 3 moving ahead let us see for rational numbers zero is a rational number and three by four is a rational number my question is how many rational numbers lie between zero and three by four now how are we going to find it can zero be written as zero by four if we write zero as zero by four will it be correct or no it is correct zero can be written as zero by four because zero divided by any number gives zero and we have three by four on the other side so do you think 1 by 4 and 2 by 4 they lie between 0 upon 4 and 3 upon 4 yes they do lie so when we have found 1 upon 4 and 2 upon 4 they lie between 3 upon 4 are these the only rational numbers that lie between 0 and 3 upon 4 or do we have some more can we write 0 upon 4 as 0 upon 40 0 divided by any number will give 0. So we can write 0 as 0 upon 40. What about 3 upon 4? Can it be written as 30 upon 40? Zeros will get cancelled and we will be left with 3 upon 4. So we have made the denominator same 40. Now let us look at the various rational numbers that lie here. 1 upon 40. 2 upon 40, 3 upon 40, so on. 
29 upon 40. So all of them, here we can very easily write down 29 fractions like this by taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up to 29 in the numerator and denominator being 40. So all these numbers, 1 upon 40, 2 upon 40, 3 upon 40, 28 upon 40, 29 upon 40, they lie between 0 and 3 by 4. Now does the story end here? Or can we take it further? Can 0 upon 4 be written as, sorry, can 0 be written as 0 upon 100? My question is, can 0 be written as 0 upon 100? Yes, it can be written. This side we have. 3 upon 4. How can I make the denominator 100? I can multiply by numerator and denominator by 25. So here I get 75 divided by 100. And you cancel it also. And check whether you get 3 upon 4. Yes, we do get 25 threes are 75 and 25 fours are 100. And this side we have taken 0 upon 100. Now 1 upon 100 lies in between 0 upon 100 and 75 upon 100. 2 upon 100 lies between these two fractions. 50 upon 100 lies in between them. 74 upon 100 lies in between 0 upon 100 and 75 upon 100. So all these fractions 1 upon 100, 2 upon 100, 3 upon 100, 50 upon 100, 73 upon 100, 74 upon 100, they all lie between 0 and 3 upon 4. So just see this process can keep on going. We can never say that we can stop at this point because we can always increase the number of zeros in the denominator. So this proves that there are countless number of rational numbers between any two given rational numbers. I will take one more example. Let me erase what is not required first. I will take two very simple numbers. 1 and 2. There are two numbers 1 and 2. How many rational numbers are there in between 1 and 2? We can write down 1 as 10 upon 10. We can write down 2 as 20 upon 10. Do the reverse calculation to see whether it is same or not. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 20 divided by 10 is 2. So what are the rational numbers in between? 11 by 10. 12 by 10, 13 by 10, so on, 19 by 10, they all lie in between 10 upon 10 and 20 upon 10. We can also write 1 as 100 upon 100. 100 divided by 100 will give us 1. And we can write 2 as 
200 divided by 100. Denominator is same. All the numbers 101 divided by 100, 102 divided by 100, 199 divided by 100. They all lie in between 1 and 2. Instead of 100 by 100, we can also write it 10,000 divided by 10,000. And this side we will write down 20,000 divided by 10,000. Just see 20,000 divided by 10,000 will give us 2. All 4 zeros will cancel. We will be left with 2. So see the numbers, number of rational numbers which lie in between these 2. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 divided by 10,000. 10,001 divided by 10,000, 10,002 divided by 10,000, 10,003 divided by 10,000. This counting will keep on going. It will go up to 10,000. Just see up to how many numbers can it go. 19,999. It is less than 20,000. So, there are countless number of rational numbers in between the given two rational numbers. We say infinite or we say countless number of rational numbers. Now, let us look at some questions. How many rational numbers are there between 0 and 1? Answer is infinite and I hope you will be able to justify your answer because 0 and 1, 0 can be written as 0 upon 10, 1 can be written as 10 upon 10. You can yourself see what are the numbers in between 1 upon 10, 2 upon 10, 3 upon 10, 9 upon 10, all of them lie between them. You can also write 0 as 0 upon 100 and 1 as 100 upon 100. So all the numbers 1 upon 100, 2 upon 100, 3 upon 100, 4 upon 100, 99 upon 100, they all lie here. So our answer is countless number of rational numbers lie between 0 and 1 or we say infinite number of rational numbers. How many rational numbers are there between 3 upon 10 and 7 upon 10? Again, our answer is infinite. 3 upon 10, 7 upon 10. So what are the numbers in between? 4 upon 10, 5 upon 10, 6 upon 10. This is what you get initially. Then 3 upon 10 can be written as 30 upon 100. 7 upon 10 can be written as 70 upon 100. Now write down all the numbers in between. You don't have to write down. You can just do mental calculation. 31 upon 100, 32 upon 100, 33 upon 100, up to 69 upon 100. They will all lie between 3 upon 10 and 7 upon 10. Further, 3 upon 10 can be written as 3000 upon 1000. And 7 upon 10 can be written as 700 upon 1000. Just see now. All the numbers 301 divided by 1000, 302 divided by 1000. 699 divided by 1000, they all lie in between 3 by 10 and 7 by 10. How many rational numbers are there between minus 1 by 10 and 3 by 10? Answer is infinite. If the question was, how many rational numbers are there between minus 1 by 10 and minus 3 by 10? Again, the answer is infinite. Any two rational numbers, whether they are positive, negative, will have infinite number of rational numbers between them. We also say countless. Next question we have, write any four rational numbers between minus 3 and 0. 
we have minus 3 and 0. Just think of the number line. What are the numbers in between? On the number line, just to the left of 0 is minus 1 and then we have minus 2. So these are 2. We want 4. These two you can just, by thinking about number line, you can quickly write it. Now let us see how to do that. Can we write down minus 3 as minus 3 by 100? We can write it as minus 30 upon 100, not as, in fact we have to write it as minus 300 divided by 100. Just check it also. Minus 300 divided by 100. What answer do you get? You get minus 3. So minus 3 can be written as minus 300 upon 100. And what about 0? 0 can be written as 0 upon 100. Now see what are the values which can be written in between. Can we write down minus 200 upon 100? If we write down minus 200 upon 100, we get minus 2 only. We can write down minus 100 upon 100. We will get minus 1. Can we write down minus 150 upon 100? Yes. Can we write down minus 50 upon 100? Yes. So, these are four rational numbers. You can write down any rational number. Minus 199 upon 100. Minus 198 upon 100. If I am writing minus 150 upon 100, I want to show you this on the number line. We have 0 here and this is minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3. So we had plotted minus 1, we had plotted minus 2. What about minus 50 upon 100? Minus 50 upon 100 is 0 0.5. So this is minus 0 0.5. Another number here is minus 1.5. We can take more. It is minus... 2.5. This one corresponds to this. This one corresponds to this. And if I have written minus, it will be minus 250 divided by 100. This corresponds to this. And minus 300 upon 100 corresponds to minus 3. 0 upon 100 corresponds to 0. Minus 1 corresponds to minus 100 upon 100 and minus 2 corresponds to minus 200 upon 100. Write 10 rational numbers between minus 3 by 8 and 3 by 5. We have to make the denominator same. Here it is 8. Here it is 5. The denominator has to be same. Now how can you make the denominator same? One way is take the LCM. 8 5s are 40. So we can write it 8 multiplied by 5. And if we are multiplying the denominator by 5, numerator also has to be multiplied by 5. This side we have to make the denominator 5. So it will be 5 multiplied by 8. So numerator also has to be multiplied by 8. So we get minus 15 upon 40. And this side we have 24 upon 40. So you have to write down 10 rational numbers 
in between. Now what could those 10 rational numbers be? Any number like in all the numbers which we are going to write denominator we will take 40 only. So you don't have to worry about the denominator. You only have to see the numerator. Let me erase this to create more space to write down 10 rational numbers. We have to write down 10 rational numbers. So I have created space and last one we have is 24 upon 40. So take, just see the, look at the numerator now. So you can just write down integers between minus uh, 15 and 24. Minus 14, minus 13. You can take any from between. Minus 10, minus 5 upon 40, minus 2 upon 40, 0 upon 40, 5 upon 40, 10 upon 40, 15 upon 40, 20 upon 40. You can write any rational number in between. Only thing is let's first make the denominator same between the two numbers in which we have to find the rational numbers between which we, we have to find the rational number so make the denominator same once we have made the denominator same then in the numerator you can write down the integers which lie in between the two numbers which are there in the numerator and you can very well see here that all of us can get different answers. There is an alternate method for finding a rational number between 1 upon 3 and 1 upon 6. It's like any two rational numbers are there, A and B. If we have to find a rational number in between, what we can do is add A and B and divide it by 2. So that will give us a rational number in between these two. Let's use this method 1 upon 3 and 1 upon 6. I said we need to add them up. Now if we add them up, we'll have to take the LCM. 3 2s are 6, 6 1s are 6. It comes 3 by 6 and 3 by 6 is 1 by 2. Now you have to divide this answer which we have got by 2. Now if you divide it by 2, what will you get? When I change division sign into multiplication, it will the reciprocal will come here. So it comes 1 upon 4. So find a rational number which lies in between 1 upon 3 and 1 upon 6. It is 1 upon 4. Add the two numbers and divide it by 2. That will give us a rational number in between those two given rational numbers. Let's move on to the next question. Here we have to find four rational numbers between 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 5. And we are going to adopt the alternate method that we have just now learned. So what is the alternate method? If we have got two numbers, A, A and B, then a number in between them would be found by adding a plus b and dividing by 2. So we will adopt this method. So we are given 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 5. So first what would be the method of finding a number in between these two fractions? We will add 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 5 and divide it by 2. So let's solve it. Here 2 will remain as it is in the denominator. 
and for the numerator we will take the LCM. LCM is 20 here and what would come here? 4 5s are 20 plus 5 4s are 20. So it is 9 upon 20 divided by whole divided by 2. So this comes out to be 9 upon 20 multiplied by 1 upon 2. I hope you remember this. A upon B whole upon C upon D is equal to A upon B multiplied by D upon C. So next what will we do? Here we have got 9 upon 40 which is one number in between the given two fractions. Now the, for the second one we will take 1 upon 4 plus 9 upon 40 divided by 2. So again the same method take the LCM 40 is the LCM we get 19 upon 40 divided by 2. So this comes out to be 19 by 80. What about the third one? Third one would be 9 upon 40 plus 1 upon 5 whole divided by 2. Again take the LCM in the numerator. LCM would be 40. We get 9 plus 5 8s are 40. So this is 17 upon 40 divided by 2. So what do we get? We get 17 by 80. So now let's write it in sequence. Our first number was 1 upon 4. And the other number given to us was 1 upon 5. We added these two up and divided by divided uh, uh, the answer by 2. We got 9 upon 40. So 9 upon 40 lies in between 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 5. Next we found a number in between 1 upon 4 and 9 upon 40. And that number was 19 by 80. So we will write it here. Similarly, we found one number in between 9 by 40 and 1 by 5 and that number came out to be 17 by 80. So we will write down 17 by 80 here. So how many numbers have we found till now? In between 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 5, we have found 3 rational numbers. In our question, if you see, we have to find 4 rational numbers. So let's try to find the fourth one. So maybe we can find between the first two. So the fourth rational number would be 1 upon 4 plus 19 by 80 whole divided by 2. Don't forget to divide by 2. So 80 is the LCM here. So what will come here? 20. 4 into 20 is equal to 80. Here we will get 19 divided by 2. So this is 39 upon 80 divided by 2 which comes out to be 39 by 160. So let's again put it in the sequence. 1 upon 4 then between 1 upon 4 and 19 by 80 we found 39 upon 160. So we will write it here. Then as you can see on top 9 upon 40 is there. After that it is 17 by 80 and then it is 1 upon 5. So this was the last one which we had found. And the other three numbers are here. So how many numbers have we found? This was the first number we found, then this was the second number we found, this was the third number we found and this is the fourth number we found. So now in this way you could have taken any two integers like fourth one you could have found between these two also. You could have found between these two or you could have found between these two. So we can uh, find 
by taking any two numbers and just to remind you that there are infinite rational numbers in between two given rational numbers. Next question is write five rational numbers greater than minus three. Think of the number line. Minus three is here. You can mark the integers. Minus two, minus three, sorry, minus one here. We'll mark the integers. Minus 3 was given to us. Minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. So all numbers greater than minus 3 would be lying towards this side. So our answer is minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. You can write down any number. 10, 20, 30, 40. They are all rational numbers. If you want to write down any fraction, that also you can do. For example, you write down any positive fraction you will write down. They will all be greater than minus 3. You can write down negative ones also. If what, what would be the center point here? Center point here is minus 2.5. That is greater than minus 3. Center point here is minus 1.5. That is also greater than minus 3. I hope you know that on the number line, 0 is here. All numbers towards this, towards the right side of 0, they are greater than 0. What about the numbers on this side? As we move away from 0, towards the negative infinity side, the number become keep on becoming smaller and smaller. So we will reach minus 200 here and somewhere we have minus 100 here. So which is greater out of minus 200 and minus 100? Minus 100 is greater than minus 200. Why? Because minus 100 is nearer to 0 and minus 200 is farther from 0. Write 10 rational numbers less than 1 upon 5. It is 1 upon 5 here. Either you can do it uh, by plotting on the number line. You can just all negative numbers would be uh, less than 1 upon 5. If I write down 0, 0 is less than 1 upon 5. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9. They are all less than 1 upon 5. So, you can either write down the numbers, integers. If you feel that is difficult, 1 upon 5 can be written as 10 upon 50. 0, 0 gets cancelled. We are left with 1 upon 5. So all numbers less than 10 upon 50. 9 upon 50, 8 upon 50, 7 upon 50, 6 upon 50, 5 upon 50, 4 upon 50, 3 upon 50, 2 upon 50, 1 upon 50, 0 upon 50, they all are less than 10 upon 50 or we can say they are less than 1 upon 5. So let us see what all have we done in this chapter. At the onset, we learned what are rational numbers and then we did certain, studied certain properties of rational numbers. First one was closure property 
and we saw that rational numbers they are closed under the operations addition subtraction and multiplication after that we saw that commutative and associative properties for rational numbers and we saw that addition and multiplication they are commutative for rational numbers addition and multiplication are associative for rational numbers then we discussed additive identity do you remember what is the additive identity for rational numbers zero is the additive identity for rational numbers what about multiplicative identity one is the multiplicative identity for rational numbers we also learnt about additive inverse of a rational number so if a rational number is a upon b what is its additive inverse negative of the number that is minus a upon b is the additive inverse of a upon b then we discussed multiplicative inverse multiplicative inverse is also called reciprocal so if we have a rational number a upon b what is its multiplicative inverse it is its reciprocal its reciprocal is nothing but 1 upon a upon b which is b upon a after that we learnt how to plot rational numbers on a number line and in the last part we learnt how to find rational numbers between given two rational numbers with this we have come to the end of this chapter rational numbers that's all for today thank you so much om shri sai ram